This is Sammy Jordan with Bobcat Press, here in case you missed the latest Jones Got Talent. I'm so thankful I had the opportunity to interview with this extremely talented lineup. The show began at 7 p.m., and first of this lineup was Logan and his Raggedy Ragtime crew. I had the chance to chat with Destiny Jordan playing the marimba. It was forced. At first it started off as a joke, and then my band director came in and said, congratulations, you're doing a test. And I'm like, no! Let's take a look at their performance. <laughs> Our next contestant was Travante Jordan bringing his original music to life. This song was just basically going deep into my thoughts and um, you know, I've always been a lover boy, so my music is based around somebody, you know what I mean? Hold me tight is just, just a, a piece to me where I can just tell myself, okay, like, I'm never letting go, like, with nothing. I made this in my closet. I really hope y'all like it. I said, so what's the move now? You wondering who I am? So I heard that you was out here making faces with somebody else. Proud time to hang her, hang her, turn to somebody else. I need you, but you know I need you. I don't usually get up in my feelings, girl, I need you. Trying to find a way just to make you like, can I see you? I'm on my day, I ain't speak to you. Can you please let me speak to you? I need you. Can you please let me speak to you? Can you please let me speak to you? excited the crowd by singing Coal Miner's Daughter by Loretta Lynn. Hulk shredded Metallica's Master of Puppets on the guitar. Six years. Okay, how long do you practice that beat? 
Five minutes? <laughs> well, it don't show. It's like you practiced it for a long time. You did a great job, fella. Thank you. Our sixth contestant was Caleb Mosley singing Die With a Smile. The Baptist Student Union's worship team performed as well. I was able to speak with Natalie Evans and Ashton Champion about their performance. How did it feel before you went on stage? Calm, collective. I played in front of thousands of people many times. It was great. My favorite part was getting to share the love of God with those that don't know the love of God. Um, before we get started, we just wanted to share some scripture with y'all out of 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 17. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we shall always be with the Lord. Good job. Right. Alexis Patterson then sang, Why Do Fools Fall in Love? Daniel Baldwin, our Mr. JC, then played a beautiful song in honor of his grandfather. Um, my granddad passed away of uh, cancer not too long ago, and so I just think of my grandma uh, singing this song to him.
you? Man, me too. You did a great job. Give him a hand. Wow. My mom texted me before and she's like, we have a whole row of fans here for you. And it's just my family members. So definitely very thankful to have a supportive family and just other people here at Jones and such good friends. Daniel also released an original song this year. Here's more information if you'd like to stream it. Yeah, it's all available on all streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you want to go, Pandora, um, and it's called Instantaneous. Bringing in another original song, Iquise McGee took the stage. Well, it is not out yet, but it will be out soon. It's going to be called, it's called Dead Body. I got my friend Nathan right here playing trumpet for the bridge. Let's get hyped tonight, y'all. It's going to be a different vibe. Come on, let's go. And it's getting cold in the state of Mississippi. The songs that you just skip for skipping me. In the winter time, I think the winter time you were kissing me. When you're gripping me. No, you're missing me. And I know that you're missing me. It's because I, 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 I just want to get closer to you. Just want to get closer to you. Cause nobody needs me, I need nobody but I need me somebody, somebody to love me You don't need nobody else's body to body If you with somebody else, it might be your dead body Cause nobody needs me, I need nobody but I need me somebody, somebody who loves me You don't need nobody else I think we all want to know what Mr. McGuffey thought of that unreleased song. I can see the fear on his face. Uh, not only did he do a killer performance, but literally what you just heard got finished at 5 a.m. this morning. Thank y'all so much. Kendall Gunderson then performed a flute solo. with such precision, very, very good. I enjoyed it. J.C. Roberts then sang Feeling Good by Michael Bublé. Really, really great. It was so relieving to like get that outside of me, you know, like do what I wanted to do. 
Thanks for the support. Um, I regretted not doing it last year because I actually worked it last year with Jacob Arnold. I watched all of the contestants go up there and I was really inspired. Cam Barnett rallied up the crowd by singing Frank Sinatra's Fly Me to the Moon. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars, let me see what spring is like on. You have never sang in front of me a day in your life. Yes, sir. And then you come out and pull off Sinatra. Excellent. I Give a round of applause like you danced and everything. Thank you. Hope Houston sang Lauren Alred's Never Enough from The Greatest Showman. It was definitely nerve wracking. I've never done anything to this scale before. Oh. someone else who's like in the industry tell you that it's just like oh well I guess they aren't that biased so it was really good and Tari and Chapman perform Blister in the Sun by Violent Femmes so the beginning it gives like country boy a little sitting on the porch with a little banjo or something but then it transforms with the lyrics and I feel like that was very me I love a reveal and that's what I carry hey y'all <laughs> Just my 
Tiana Millsap brought the stage. How did it feel before you went on stage? Nerve wracking. I was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I was nervous. I'm feeling high. My money's gone. I was all alone. One, two, three. The world keeps turning. Oh, what a day. prompted to use the QR code on the screen to elect their winners. And while we wait for our judges to tally the results, please welcome to the stage John Scott Talent winner 2023, Sam Griffith. And I decided to write about where I came from and what I'm made of. And it's, it's called Hand of the South. I was raised on wood to run. was tall, respecting how the Lord loves me. I think back to what made me. It's a place I go when the world gets cold. Where the hay is baled and the barns are old. Where 
the heart and hands of a working man have a story to be told. Way out here was a dirt road. It's like a warm kind of feeling you never want to live without. When time moves slower and you can't say. It felt unreal. I've never won anything like that in my life. And that was really game changing for me. It really showed me that I do have potential and that if I do outstep my boundaries, not to always be scared of it. It made me really happy and proud to be there along with all the other contestants. One thing I told myself I would do is the kick that I did, the Dean Martin kick, that, that kind of just happened. And I was really happy I did that. Thank you to all the other contestants who participated in the Jones Got Talent because I wouldn't have done that alone and their spirit really calmed me down and helped me achieve my goal. Our videographers include Joshua Keith, Lexi Hall, Sammy Jordan, and Anna Hayden. This year's lineup was extremely gifted. I cannot wait to see next year's Jones Got Talent. This is Sammy Jordan signing off.